March 17, 2015 was a glorious spring day. My husband, dog, and two kids had only lived in our house for a few months, so we decided to use our youngest child's birthday as an excuse to throw a housewarming birthday party. The house was filled with laughter and friendship as our youngest flitted around in fuzzy red Lightning McQueen slippers and a flowing light blue Elsa dress and tiara. The cake created by a dear friend was this beautiful ice castle with Elsa frosted dress on top and the goodie bags were filled with frozen and lightning themed items. Leave it to a four-year-old to pick their theme. <laughs> After the party, my husband and I felt wonderful. We were so proud of our beautiful new home, proud of our loving interracial family, proud that we would invite 60 people to an over-the-top princess party for our four-year-old son. <laughs> when it was time to take the kids up to bed, I followed our youngest, carefully holding the back of the Elsa dress so those four-year-old slippered feet wouldn't trip. Oh, I hope you had the very best birthday, my sweet princess boy. With my words, my child stopped, turned, looked me straight in the eyes, and calmly said, Mom, I'm not a boy. I'm a girl. In the split second before I responded, it was as if a movie of the last two years of our child's life flew through my eyes. The withdrawn child who wouldn't talk to anyone, the kid who didn't like hugs, the tantrumer who only liked certain soft clothes, that frozen obsession, and the subsequent six months of wearing that one Elsa dress over and under every outfit, including snow pants. <laughs> the many times we tried to explain to family and friends that the reason our child wasn't socializing was because they must be hungry or tired or grumpy. The countless times my husband and I joked that we should never take that Elsa dress off because our child was so much easier when it was on. On our child's fourth birthday, the cork popped out of our youngest son and out flew our daughter. Mom, you know I'm a girl in my heart, in my brain, right? Dad, Dad, I'm back, girl. Come catch me. Ronnie, Ronnie. My son, who is 17 months older, is Ronnie. Ronnie, can you please call me sister now? Mom and Dad, I'm not a he. I'm a she. Please call me she. And we did. Ronnie first, then my husband, and then I did. And with each small shift that we made as a family to affirm what she told us, something far more powerful was released than just her words out spewed joy. Gone was our taciturn, shy son. Here was our dynamic, magnetic, sparkly daughter. I'm Ellie, E-L-L-I-E, -L -L -E, she would tell us. And in Ellie, we saw smiles and laughter. We got hugs. We saw her make friends. We saw real confidence. Most importantly, we saw no other option than let her be who she told us she was. And as E-L-L-I-E -L -L -E told us who she was, I was left questioning who I was. On the outside, I can make this look very easy. But on the inside, it's not been so clear. I am open-minded and liberal. But if I am, why then sometimes do I mourn my son? I know that we are privileged and have access to all of the best doctors and resources we need as Ellie grows. So even when I know this answer, why do I feel worried hearing questions like, do I have to have a man voice when I grow up? Or mommy, can medicine help me grow real breasts too? I research, share our story openly, educate, advocate. Ellie is at an incredible school and all friends and family and community around us have been affirming. 
So why do I feel such fear for her? Perhaps it's the 22 transgender women who were murdered last year just for living their lives authentically, many women of color like Ellie. Maybe because it's the fight that I watch with fellow parents for their child just to use the bathroom at school that matches their child's identity. Could it be the horrific suicide rate amongst transgender teenagers that fuels my sleepless nights? I'm guessing that my feelings are all rooted in these things. I also know I have a dimple-cheeked, intelligent, and confident daughter at home who knows nothing of that side of this journey. I think that those polar opposite feelings I have, acceptance, fear, love, worry, are a result of what makes a mom a mom. That gut-wrenching truth that regardless of the hurricane of emotions, I will provide a safe and loving path for my children to realize their own happiness. And it will be an honor to watch Ellie on her path as she realizes hers.